Hey guys and welcome back in. Today we're going to be spawning in on Mother's Dwelling. Now a lot of people have been asking me recently about Detectors Hunch and how can I make it work. Now if you look in the bottom left you're going to see that I have a map. It's not going to be a rainbow map, it's going to be a default basic map. Now I'm also going to be running two add-ons in there. The add-on that you're looking at at the top right hand side is I think called, called the Silk Cord. That is going to allow me to track killer belongings. The add-on add you see at the bottom is going to allow me to share whatever I see on the map with all my allies. Now Detectors Hunch basically is when I complete a generator. I have to be on it at the end of the generator, not at the beginning, not in the middle. I have to be on it when it completes. Every aura of anything around me within 64 yards will be revealed to myself and my teammate for as long as I channel the map. So right now when this gen is done, I'm going to be able to show you guys real quick what is currently happening. Every aura revealed, my teammate can now see while I'm channeling the map, giving him time to go straight for the totems to the right hand side and me time to go for a totem straight up here and then the totem on the left. I'll break both of them, therefore we are in indirect counter to Noed providing my teammate is going to be going to break these totems. I can get two out of the way, he can get one out of the way. I know where a chest is if I need to find somewhere to heal underneath. All my teammates would have seen those auras regardless of how far away they are on the map. This is how you incorporate Detectors Hunch into a normal map build. A lot of people think it's an undermined or not a very powerful perk and you are right it does lack a little bit if your team doesn't come together it is kind of one of those perks like leader where you need people to work as a squad to be able to benefit from it now i am going to 99 the chest knowing that somebody else can come over and search it they might have plunderer's instinct i do not i have no intention of actually getting the item out of it now normally with a chest to animation cancel you'll press the shift the w and the left kick click key I can take a hit from him if he needs it, and it looks like he did need it. That was a very precise blink hit from the nurse. We're going to go for our chest right now real quick. Now, unfortunately, because if I choose to animation cancel, the killer will get a notification. Believe it or not, if I don't animation cancel and I slam the chest like this, doesn't matter. Now, I can show all that stuff to my teammates, just like that. She only blinked once, so she's still nearby. I'm going to start working on the gen a little bit in case she chooses to come back. That way I can give my teammate borrowed time if I need to. He doesn't have Kindred and no one else knows that I'm currently here. I don't think she's coming back. She did one blink away. I'm going to listen for one more large blink or one blink and then a follow-up blink. That's a follow-up blink. Therefore, she blinked twice. So she is at the furthest point away or she's at the furthest point in time for her to be able to come back. A nurse only has two blinks. If she has more than two blinks, she's unable to blink through walls. That being said... She didn't blink through a wall when she downed my teammate, but it's very uncommon for the nurse to be able to have more than that. Very fast heal from my teammate. Two people on a generator again. Now, you'll notice those auras revealed that there aren't many totems left on the map. That being said, she is coming back in. Let's see what happens here. Now, my teammate might have DS. I know I don't. I want to take spacing away. He took an early hit, which is unfortunate. Remember, every aura I channel off this map right now, my teammates can see. It is just an ordinary... There you go. One, two, and three. Three totems left. Three totems available. Somebody upstairs working on that. I can see all those totems. I can make sure I'm going to be countering Noed if it is an option. I'm going to do this totem here. I'm going to help on the generator upstairs. Then I'm going to go break the last one or two totems if they are still available. While I'm running up the stairs, I will channel the map because I do have a teammate who is MIA who could possibly be doing one of those other two totems and if the totems is completed I will have information based on that as well let's have a look if the totems are still up one totem's up you notice the totem down there to the right hand side has disappeared and the chest is currently being searched I just located my teammate through that I'm gonna walk over here I've got a good gut feeling the nurse is upstairs or very close Looks like she left off that. Now we know we got one totem left that we have to deal with to counter Noah. And this isn't a rainbow map. This is a default stock standard map with Detectors Hunch. I am running an add-on that allows me to track killer belongings, therefore totems and hooks. However, I am also having access to being able to share those auras with my teammates. Now she will see me up here, unfortunately. I will greed for this generator. I might take a hit in the back, but I do think it's the right call to complete it, especially if she has Pop Goes the Weasel. Generator is done. I'm going to rotate here. Let's see if that last totem is available. That last totem is not available. By the way, you cannot vault a window while using a map. I just learned that. <laughs> Alright, all totems have been broken on the trial. We got one generator down there. We got the chest down there. We're almost out of map. Not that it matters anymore because the job of the map is done. It is completed. I can see the nurse to my left hand side. Did she turn her camera? She did not. I do have BT if I need to help my teammate. Looks like she may have access to a 3 gen strat over in this side of the board as well. Unless there's one in the far right hand corner of the map that I haven't gone over nearby. If he wants to heal, I'll give it to him. Otherwise, we can go back to the corner on the right and apply pressure back to this objective. And we'll find out if she had pop and she came over here to aggress. See that crow despawn? We know we got another teammate coming in. He is going to be injured. Two people on the gen is going to be good. If the killer chooses to come over and I can take a hit and bait her away, I do have adrenaline. She overshot that blink, which is nice. She's aiming for somebody else. 
Really good play. She has Surge. I don't see too many nurses run Surge. Good dead hard play. This is actually the first person I've seen run Surge on the nurse bar myself, believe it or not. Now, rather than healing my teammate up, she's coming back in. She saw me. I'm going to take spacing back the way. Not going to be able to heal this guy. He's nowhere near going to be done, which is fine. I'm going to just try and take a little bit of distance and see what she decides to do. I'm going to wait out of her line of sight where she can't make a proper blink or a good play. Make sure she hasn't regressed the generator. If I take a hit to save this guy's bacon, it's worth it. Making sure we're blocking a line of sight. Notice how she only does one blink. There's adrenaline from another generator being completed. Therefore, it wasn't a 3 gen. I'm going to rotate away. My teammate picked himself up through adrenaline, and now she's going to have to chase him. I will search this chest based on the fact that no one else did it, and I'm curious as to see what's going to be inside. Not that I'm going to drop anything. Make a comment in the uh, Make a comment below the YouTube video and tell me what you think's in the chest. Alright, I'm calling a yellow med kit. Close. Close, but that is okay. Alright, what are we looking at? Any auras? No need. we just got the killer belongings being tracked, being the chest. I can't heal this guy at a quicker rate, but I can get the door done and come back in for him. He's only in struggle. He's not on death hook. I need to be careful with my scratch marks. Rather than healing him, we'll think ahead. He held shift, so I wouldn't stop healing on him then. Very clever play. He wanted me to go for the door. My intentions were to go for the door as well. The second he starts crawling towards me, I know he's fully recovered on the ground. So will he be done recovering by the time I have the door prepped? We also have another teammate injured, therefore I will not open the door. I'll leave it 99. Looks like the other person's going to be over here and get the heal up in time. That is going to be good. Unfortunately, they are down, but there's three of us, and we're going to have access to BT. Keeping in mind, I will be getting dead hard back real soon. We're going to wait for that hook to happen, and then I think my teammate's going to open the door to counter any form of uh, BT, uh, blood warden that the killer will have. We both have BT. I want my dead hide back in case I take an early hit. So I'm going to start walking here. Really trying to take him through the map. I'm going to let her see me here and try and maybe hide behind the tree. Good. It's unfortunate I got hit early. Went for a little bit of a walk. The other guy might get up there in time. That's a bad play by me. I couldn't see because of the stain. Looks like he's going to need to go in and get the save. Try and take a hit for somebody else while I open the door. I don't know why he hasn't ran down to try and assist these two tigers. Keeping in mind that one of them is the obsession, therefore they might have access to Decisive Strike, which is commonly known as the strongest perk in the game for a killer. She's overcharging that blink, so she's coming for me. It looks like that was a really good dead hard done by my teammate, and we're going to be able to come in for this full heal. Let's see what happens here, and that's going to be GG's for the nurse. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video on how to use Detectus Hunch and why it is a great perk, make sure you slap that subscribe button. I do do informative, educational, dead by daylight, killer, and survivor content all the time. And if you guys want to catch it live, make sure you tune into the uh, Twitch streams where I stream it live five days a week. That being said, guys, you've been awesome, and I will see you beautiful people in the fog next time.